In football, Emba Football Club of Abra has won a record ninth Nigerian Premier Football League title, thereby securing a spot in the next year's CAF Champions League. Emba Football Club's coach and Super Eagles ace striker, Philly De George, has said his next target is to win the CAF Champions League. Remo Stars Football Club also booked a place in the CAF Champions League after finishing second ahead of Rivers United, who came third and finished with the CAF Confederations Cup spot. Delta Queens have been crowned Nigeria Women's Football League Premiership Champions for the first time in 12 years. Super Falcons coach Randy Waldrum has listed 23 players for the upcoming Women's World Cup in Australia and New Zealand. The Super Falcons were drawn in Group B with host Australia. The tournament starts on July 20th and final taking place on the 20th of August in Sydney at the Arco Stadium. Kylian Mbappe says he will not be extending his current deal beyond June 2025. Kylian Mbappe's contract will run out in 2024. After that, he will become a free agent, which means PSG will not make any profit from his exit. Amidst the transfer saga surrounding Kylian Mbappe and his future at the club, the Frenchman has come out to support his former teammate Lionel Messi, who is expected to join Inter Miami next season. He said, he is one of the greatest players in the history of football. It's never good news when someone like Messi leaves. I don't quite understand why so many people were so relieved that he was gone. He didn't get the respect he deserved in France. Club legend Rio Ferdinand bolsters hope of a Qatari takeover of Manchester United, saying that the takeover by a son of the country's former Prime Minister, Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani, has been in the offing for a long time, adding that it will happen in a matter of days. Jude Bellingham has joined Real Madrid on a six-year deal and has been given the number five shirt previously won by his idol, Los Blancos legend Zinedine Zidane. Super Eagles are set to take on Syria alone on Sunday and seal qualifications for the 2023 African Cup of Nations. In basketball, the Tigers' Gabriel Unam Vincent missed out on ring as Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets won the franchise's first ever NBA title. Memphis Grizzlies star Jam Moran set to miss 25 games of the 2023-2024 season for a second gun-related incident. And in tennis, Novak Djokovic beat Kaspar Ruud in straight sets to win the Roland Garros and clinch a record-breaking 23rd men's Grand Slam. The Serbian got a better of world number one Carlos Alcaraz to set up the final with Ruud, and Novak came a keenly contested first set to grab the victory. Is the news from around you, from the communities, in the creeks, on the roads, whether they're celebrations, protests, parades, football matches, the people, the places, the issues, we serve them fresh, hot, unbiased, factual and timely. It is informative and educative. It is community news. It's the news on Krishna Television. Follow our social media handles, subscribe to our YouTube channel, stay with us. Krishna Television, your blog for community news.